Hi, I'm Malcolm Clark and I'm a muscular pain specialist. Today I'd like to show you the treatment of an equine patient called Donnie. Donnie was going fine until his saddle was changed. The saddle was fitted by a qualified fitter and Donnie's owner was told that it fitted well and indeed it looked fine to her. However, since that time he found any kind of transition, walk to trot, trot to canter, walk to canter, more and more difficult. So I treated Donny with transactive kinesiology and massage. So take a look at this video. I think you'll find it very interesting. So first of all, we're just putting Donny through some basic movements, walking and trotting, looking at him from different directions. See how he moves. Now we're turning him short to show up any limitation in side bending of the spine is a little stiff on this rein, the right rein. Now just testing that the surrogate's muscle will switch off. Now I'm commencing testing with transactive kinesiology. We're working from the pole down to the hindquarters, testing the paravertebral muscles on the left side. I'm making a note of the points where he tests weak on a diagram in my book. Now working my way down the left shoulder into the leg. And he tested weak on the left knee. Now working down the uh, rear portion of the paravertebral muscles on the left. The lumbodorsal area tested uh, especially weak. Uh, now we're working down the right side. This was Donnie's stronger side. Nothing tested weak on this side. Now we're muscle testing in the conventional way. The surrogate is putting her hand over the points that tested weak, just to verify with this method. And as you see, they are testing weak.
Um, strings tested weak with the transactive kinesiology. And that's verified with this conventional method of actually touching the muscle. Now we're testing one or two other places just to show that uh, in other places there's no problem, no energy deficit. Now I'm searching for the primary factor, the root problem behind the weakness that we've found. So I've tested the I tested for organ, now I've tested for gland, and the thymus gland is testing weak, and it's testing weak with emotional stress. Now I'm releasing the stress from the thymus gland. Now we're retesting the thymus. It's strong. So next we go back and retest the points that were testing weak. And as you can see there now, testing strong. Uh, now I'm going to do some massage uh, around these points on the left side in the paravertebral muscles to release tension in the muscles. In the lumbo in the lumbo in the lumbo dorsal area he was particularly sore on both sides. And we had the suspicion that the saddle might have been a little bit too long and had been putting pressure on this area. The problems started with Donny about two years ago when the owner changed the saddle and was assured that the saddle was of the correct length but since that time Donny hadn't been going so well. So now I'm doing some deep massage into the paravertebral muscles and if you watch you can see how he tends to get uncomfortable as I pass that lumbo dorsal area because it is particularly tight and sore and he's getting very restless and trying to flex his back a bit to resist and, and pointing there because it is a bit sore because of the tension that's been there. So we do a little bit more massage to release that. And uh, now it's easing off and he's getting a bit more comfortable with it. Now we're going to walk and trot him up again to see if any major difference shows in his movement. Okay, this is the second visit, a week later, and we're retesting the points that were weak to see that they have held up. Uh, 
and all testing nice and strong. And now the owner is bringing the saddle out and look at the reaction. The ears go back, he turns away, he's not looking forward to it. And now we're testing with the saddle on. And see how Donny goes weak on those points that used to be weak. So clearly he has an issue with this saddle and uh, we suspect that it was slightly too long and distributing too much weight over the lumbodorsal region of the spine. This of course will inhibit flexing at that area of the spine and make movements difficult and uh, eventually a bit painful. Now we're testing with the rider on the on Donny without the saddle and retesting those same points and see how they all test strong. So clearly the saddle was the problem. A little bit too long, putting too much pressure on that region.